Good morning, friends. I'm Professor Shivayogi Patil. I'm a retired professor from an engineering college. Now I'm a trainer and coach. Again, I'm coming up with a video to drive home some points again. Uh, so today, the topic of discussion today is uh, the secret of the universe. Why secret of universe is um, important? Because, uh, see, uh, universe is governed by many laws. And we, if we follow those laws, if we follow those principles, then our success, our happiness, our uh, what you call peace of mind will be more uh, fruitful. So that is the reason I'm bringing this uh, particular topic, secret of success. So secret of success uh, is related to uh, how this universe operate, how this, on what principles is this universe to operate, uh, and uh, how it can help us to, uh, what you call it as, uh, manifest anything in our life. Help us to manifest anything in our life. So that is a very, very important thing, my dear friends. Please listen to me very carefully. So universe, what is universe? So in Hindi, we call it, in Hindi as well as in Canada, we call it as a Brahmanda. Brahmanda means... Uh, the boundless entity in which all the solar systems, planet Earth, etc., etc., galaxy, so all are located. Uh, that, that, that can be a definition of the universe. It is a boundless entity. So this universe has something called, is full of energy. It is full of energy, which we call it as a cosmic energy because uh, the entire this uh, universe can also be called as cosmos. So that is the scientific word is cosmos. So with the energy, it is filled with energy. So of course, in this world, in this planet, in this universe, everything is energy. Even we are energy. All the, uh, according to the quantum physics or quantum science, you can say, everything is energy. So uh, we'll discuss it in detail in the later uh, videos. But right now, so cosmic energy, is the energy field in the universe and how it affects our life and why it affects our life is very important to know. Because what we call our life energy, what we call our life energy is part of that universal energy or part of that uh, what you call cosmic energy. So we have three entities. As a human being, we have three entities. One is body, one is mind and the uh, third is life energy. So the bodies and mind has been designed and created to support the life energy. And uh, we have certain lifespan given by the creator. So like 100 years or nowadays, uh, uh, many theories are coming up. The actual uh, the lifespan of the human being is 120 to 130. Yes, if he maintain his body and mind well, he can live up to 120 to 130 years. So. Uh, this lifespan, so uh, of course, uh, it is very difficult to maintain your uh, life energy, your body and mind uh, up to that. So if we consider the 100 years, then uh, so this body and mind will support us till 100 years until uh, uh, unless there are no, no ailments, no diseases and all those things support. Then once the death occurs, so what is mean by death? Either your heart should stop uh, pumping the blood or your brain should stop functioning. So either it is a brain, brain dead case or your heart uh, stopping case, which may be called as heart attack or cardiac arrest or something like that. So that will happen. If that will, one of these things will happen, then it can be called as a death. Then the, our life energy releases, gets releases. Then that the life energy uh, it mixes with the cosmic energy, goes to its source, and then again it is it will search for another body which is in the mother's womb. And uh, the uh, uh, this is what the uh, uh, theoretical concept, our Vedas, our Shastras, because energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. That is very very important to know. Energy neither can be created, can be nor can be destroyed. This is the scientifically proven fact. So therefore, my dear friends, so this energy can only be transmitted from one form to another form. That is one thing. Second thing, this energy can be transformed from one body to another body. Otherwise, 
there is no end to our life energy there is nothing like uh, uh, there is no end to our life energy so the, the, that uh, we actually uh, what you call it as uh, reincarnation theory that supports that reincarnation sorry theory therefore our hindu shastra says punarapi janaranam punanapi marana so the meaning of that is we we just change our body we just change our body and we take birth uh, after uh, the death of the body something like that okay keeping all these things aside coming to the main topic universe so since universe is created in is by by a creator who also created a lot of things like solar system there are n number of solar system our solar system is one of the uh, n number of solar system i don't go for the number of solar systems so some astronomical scientists may tell you exactly how many solar systems are there so our solar system consists of our sun our moon our planet and all the nova grahas is one of that is one of that and our planet is one of the planet uh, which actually uh, formed to be having a uh, lot of uh, life in it in the form of plant kingdom in the form of animal kingdom and in the form of human kingdom these are the three kingdoms as well as what you call it as atmosphere with lot of gases and all which support these plant kingdom animal kingdom as well as Uh, the human kingdom so this all supporting system is created by supposed to be created by a, a creator so what i mean to say is universe has been created to create all these life forms it always uh, complements our well being it also always complement uh, our health it always supports us in many ways like even for manifesting our desires and uh dreams so the, that it has been designed like this by that spectacular uh, designer who can who we can call it as a creator or god or anything uh, based on your religion your uh, uh, belief system etc so therefore uh, we will consider only the humans human part or plant or plant kingdom kingdom we will leave it Uh, animal kingdom we will leave it so for us it is very important to know how you humans are affected by this cosmic energy this universe uh, this uh, uh, what you call is the environment and uh, uh, all other things because uh, if we want to be successful it is not possible but only by our effort or our, our family effort or our society effort and all so even the uh, cooperation of the universe cooperation of the environment cooperation of these several forces has to be there then only we will be become successful otherwise it is not possible so why a lot of people are not successful means their dreams their desires desire uh, desires their effect is not in alignment with the laws of universe or secret of universe that is the reason so they have failed and few people who have taken advantage of all these forces there are many forces many universal forces including the life energy including how the planet earth works so there are some laws which govern governs the universe so they have taken advantage of that and they have manifested what they have manifested and become very very successful that is the reason i am discussing it today uh, in particular this thing so uh the summary of the, uh, what i have told uh, till now is so the universe will always be there to support us it complements our existence so the cosmic energy is our our life energy is cosmic energy part or you can say part of the cosmic energy therefore we are uh, all human beings are connected by the same cos- cosmic energy our bodies may be different our mind may be different but we are our life energy is same our life energy is same so uh, what you, what this means is everybody is connected by the same universal energy so there is there is something called brotherhood or sisterhood whatever whatever you can call so we are all one whether whatever race whatever country whatever state we belong to we are all one those all the spiritual gurus actually who have got enlightenment stress this point we have how we have connected 
even though our body mind thinking pattern uh, everything our beliefs our value systems differ but by life energy we are all connected now uh, the most important things thing to understand is how to use this uh, what you call it as the uh, cosmic uh, energy as well as the universe so the laws of universe uh, laws of universe to uh, our advantage so there are many secrets to this uh, universe how it operates actually uh, you can observe the universe operates with very high precision according to laws of physics and mathematics so uh, every physics defines how the solar system operates uh, operates as well as mathematical equations also determines the operation of the solar system so uh, we can predict even future also using the mathematical equations uh, th that's why uh, all these solar eclipses all these uh, moonar uh, eclipse, eclipse eclipse and uh, like uh, uh, there are many many other things like amavasya onnime so lot of other things which are written in the panchanga based on mathematical calculations of the planetary moment mathematical because they are governed by the physical laws physics laws as well as the mathematical laws there the, the, that is the reason why uh, our ancestors has written uh, all those uh, shastras uh, what we call bhavishya uh, how planetary things will affect us something like that so all those has been written since they knew that all the planetary uh, moments will be in according so with the uh, physical laws as well as mathematical laws so keeping this as the base let us see how we can take the help of the universe because remember my friends i am stressing it again universe has been created to support the uh, entire existence of human being plant and animal kingdoms so they are created to so they are not created actually to harm all these things even our planet earth our environment has been created to support our existence to help us uh, grow so as a human being and uh, help us to grow phys physically uh, spiritually materially etc etc but what is happening is of course that is a different topic what is happening is we are abusing the planet earth therefore planet earth okay there is a uh, every for every action there is a reaction so planet earth is uh, we can call it as it is uh, some uh, due to imbalance or anything again it is all related to the physical laws and uh, mathematical laws uh, it is creating havoc so all these uh, what you call it as a Uh, global warming flood situations even pandemics these are result of our uh, what you call uh, uh, wrong doings our abusive uh, actions on the earth we are abusing the earth like anything we have not understood the importance of maintaining the earth uh, in its original form it's uh, how we got it so any any anything we if we get it we have to at least maintain it in the same form but we are unable to do that so that is the reason all these things are happening all these uh, pandemics all these uh, all these things are happening so uh, what is the solution for this so this uh, the solution for this is to understand the things 